Hi, welcome. This video is going to be about Steam and we're working on this version and we have the 5.4.1 long awaited kernel. But as Linus Torvald says, it's just a number. It's the same case with our number up here. It's just a number. Anyway, Steam, how do we get Steam on our machine? So I have an article on articlelinux.com that's gonna explain how we do it. So use the search, whatever word you're looking for, use the listing, and we'll try updating. Like you see, December 3, 2019, there was already an article, but we've updated it for you. I have installed uh, it on uh, Steam, as you can see, on uh, Plasma, you see, and this is how we do it. We have here a particular GitHub. And on the GitHub are so, so, so many tips, all right? So get it in, put it somewhere, not on the desktop maybe, but put it somewhere and do it like I do. Control Shift V. Git clone it. This always will always contain the last version, the last bit that I personally will install after every clean installation, okay? Many people say, Eric, I can't install this. Like for instance, TeamViewer said, to look look at my code just run team viewer install team viewer in this case we're going to run install steam and looking for it here it is install steam All right in this case steam is actually the result of many people working how should we install steam on arch linux slash arch linux right and all this lib 32 bit I never installed, but due to tips from other people, said, look, you need to have those as well, because, 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 right? Hardware stuff, games. We have the package Steam, sudo pacman s steam, right? Or, or a yay, depends what package it is, but this, this thing here, this code will figure it out for you and Steam native runtime, that's what we need as well. Later on, we get a tip that maybe we should install the Microsoft fonts because it's a Microsoft thing, right? So we need to have these fonts to have a nice view on Steam. And later, another tip. People say to include this one because we have these remote machines to, so we can play with them on our computer system. So basically, all these scripts are growing, are being updated and are working. That's the point. So getting them in is always interesting. So let's get this Steam on the way. The only thing you have to do is remember the name. It's always install this, install that, install this. Enter and remember your password. And a lot of lib32 bits are coming first. And we just wait and sit it out. As simple as that. In the meantime, we can have a look at um, the rest. So what I'll do after a clean installation you can have a look at um, the website probably going to be mentioned somewhere is the article get started that's something i'll run and you can run it as well but be careful be thoughtful read the code see what's in there right so under 15 minutes i want to have a system that i can work on and there is a number behind it article get started six that's the number of today but it's always the same URL, right? So this is a URL that you can put in your system and it's gonna be six afterwards. Let's see if it will work. <laughs> All these capital letters, right? Doesn't like that. Arco get started, six. And it will be seven in the future and eight and nine and seven, etc. So you download this thing and it's a bunch of scripts. You see what kind of script you like, what part of scripts you like um, this is how I get my things done, my workflow. But reuse them, reuse them wisely, and that's great, right? So that's the article get started, but that thing is going to get my nemesis. And it's gonna run this one, and that one, and that one, etc. Depending on what choices. Okay, this is finished, so I can stop my speech. So Steam is installed, Steam native steam runtime so choose one of them not sure what it is maybe somebody can tell me the difference between either of them 
what the difference is. But it's going on here, Steam. It's always the same process. If it's Windows or Linux, it's the same thing. <laughs> it needs to, it's just installed, it needs to download again and be updated again. So I see my son always uh, waiting for this thing. And when it's done, you'll get a login screen and a password. And then on a new PC, he'll mail you and say, hey, this is a new computer system. You need to be verified. You go to your mail, you get a code, you copy paste the code in, and then you can select your games, start downloading five, six, 10, 20 gigabytes and start playing. Let's wait for them, this pop-up and then call it a day. This is how we install Steam and be sure everything is working. Oh, was a long wait. And now is on the other screen. Go back here. There you go. Now it's up to you. You know the account name, you know the password, and you know the drill. You'll get a mail, you get a code, put in the code, and game. All right, enjoy.